everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we're at the Port of Los Angeles. We're about to get on Royal Caribbean's Navigator of the Seas for a four night adventure. Last time we were on a Royal Caribbean ship, we were on the Symphony of the Seas, which is the world's biggest cruise ship. And this was the world's biggest like 18 years ago. So it's <laughs> gonna be a little bit smaller. Our last Royal Caribbean adventure, you might remember that we stayed in a suite. We had the unlimited dining package. This time it's gonna be a little bit different. We got a cheaper room. We're gonna do the main dining, but I'm still just as excited. Yeah, the cheaper room. We got the room for free. We'll tell you more about that later, but why don't you come with us on this adventure? that you're vaccinated, they give you this wristband. Last time, it was like a rubber bracelet. This time, it is one of the ones that you kind of you zip close, and once you close it, you can't like um, you can't unlatch it, so it's on you for good for your whole trip. <laughs> <laughs> this is always the most exciting part for some reason, when you go down the gangway or the walkway or whatever this is called, yeah, right like before you get on the ship. It's like the excitement of getting on. Ooh, this is already so different. Yeah, like this main atrium, it like seems like such, like so much smaller. Yeah, well I, I, I didn't look at anything about this ship before going on it because I wanted to be surprised. And I'm already surprised. <laughs> like, was not like, look it. Wow. What is this? Well, we found the Royal Promenade. Now we just gotta find our room. Not that it's gonna be open, but we are actually like in the very front of the ship this time. So I think like right now we're right here. We need to go like right there. I know our room is gonna be like at the very, very tip. That's gonna be so exciting. How many times am I gonna say I'm excited? <laughs> You know what's different about this ship is there's actually staterooms that face into the Royal Promenade. I feel like that would be such like, it would be too noisy to be in that room. But I think we're gonna make our way to the buffet Windjammers cause your girl is hungry. They got a cafe promenade here, but that's a combination of Sorrento's and cafe promenade. And right across is Playmaker Sports Bar. And this place is decked out for Christmas and Hanukkah. It's something I didn't even think about. But of course they got decorations. I'm actually so hungry that the smell of the pizza coming out of here, I could not resist. She also kind of like forced me to get a piece. And I, I was like, oh, okay, you don't have to twist my leg. I got just the veggie pizza. Or wait, actually, no, there's, there's pepperoni on it. So I don't know what I got. I guess the supreme slice. It's hitting the spot right now. The carpets, the carpets with the days of the week on them. I forgot about those. All right, it's Monday. Not a bad Monday if I do say so myself. We're walking through the pool deck and it's so different. They have like these day beds looking out into the water and then look at this hot tub. I want to get in. When can we get in? But it looks huge. I know. I want to alter ourselves. These aren't very comfortable. The real question is, do we get ice cream before or after lunch? After. After? Okay, fine, Peter. It's so interesting. This ship is only like two years younger than the Disney Wonder, but it feels so new because of this amplification. There's like a Johnny Rockets Express on the pool deck. Go to the pool, get some hot dogs, hamburgers, <laughs> chicken fingers. <laughs> then go get an ice cream. It's a win-win. We'd like to thank Amaze for sponsoring this portion of today's video. We first learned about Amaze when Disney teamed with them to offer someone the chance to visit the set of Star Wars The Force Awakens. I actually entered that one and a couple others. <laughs> Amaze gives you the opportunity to win a life-changing experience by supporting an amazing cause. This time they are giving you the chance to win an Airstream Interstate 24X. This is a beautiful custom configurable coach that blends luxury amenities and cutting edge tech with off-road versatility. It seats up to six people and sleeps too. It has everything you need to live remotely. It has solar power, a kitchen with two burners, 
microwave, refrigerator, freezer, bathroom, and a shower, and a toilet, and a sink, has a side awning and a configurable bed. The cool thing with the Airstream 24X is that it is made to adapt alongside you with a configurable cabin that you can customize to suit any scenario. During the last couple of years, we watched a lot of van life vlogs and dreamed what it would be like to hit the road ourselves, traveling across the country with our dogs, going to a bunch of theme parks and roadside attractions. It's a dream, okay? Yeah. And the best <laughs> thing is that this supports a good charity. The Jimmy Johnson Foundation is dedicated to assisting families, children, and communities all around the United States. The foundation currently focuses on funding K through 12 public education, primarily through their Champions Grant Program. For your chance to win and to donate to a great cause, go to omaze.com slash ordinary adventures. And now back to our video. On the Navigator of the Seas, they have this traveling piano man who just secretly appears and pop-ups around the ship, even on the, the, the elevators. But here it looks like he's setting up right outside the wind jet. This looks very professional. I didn't count on you coming up. Good evening. What's the after? I don't know where I am. <laughs> I know I'm on a ship. That's, a, that's as far as I go. Imagine there's no camera. <laughs> it's easy if you could try. How are you doing? How are you? Washi washi. Everybody, washi wash your hands. Oh, let's do a um, uh, Rick back. Spears. Steve's back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'll wash my hands with you like you want me to. <laughs> and I'll hold you tight, baby, all through the night. I'll wash hands with you like you want me to. And I won't let go till you tell me to. <laughs> wow, Come all that tree I like it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Wash your hands, people, or you don't get to enjoy your food. All of the restaurants are kind of contained in this one area. Like there's Chops, Jamie's, and Windjammers all like in the same small little area. Windjammers looks a lot smaller. <laughs> I'm still, I'm sure it's still gonna be good, but wow. Okay, so Windjammer is a lot bigger than I, we first thought. It wraps all the way around. They have so much food. They have international, they have a whole section of gluten-free. There's soups, salads, breads, there's meats, there's seafood. It's so funny, coming from the Disney Wonder and the selection that was at Cabana's and seeing this, it's like night and day, like it's like 10 times the size. Like you have a choice of so much. The question is, is is it good? This is an example of what happens when you're really hungry and you can't decide what you want. You get one of each. <laughs> I found out that they actually had a made-to-order pasta station and I, I went a little crazy. I got like Alfredo, I put olives in there, garlic, cheese, a bunch of other stuff. I was just like, you know what, you make it, I trust you. Um, I also got a hot dog and some cheese and some potatoes. You got a tower of cheese. I did. It looks pretty good. Let's try the pasta. It smells nice and garlicky. I think this beats Cabanas. Sorry. <laughs> good. <laughs> I didn't know that they made custom pasta. It's exciting. I got some roast beef, some stir fry, some mashed <laughs> potatoes, some more potatoes, and a, a steak because I can. They have so much stuff. They even have a chocolate fountain. So they have these like spears of fruit that I, I, I'm guessing they dip into the chocolate fountain and then it now makes something healthy unhealthy. But you know, I'm game. We don't have the drink package this time. So I opted to get myself some lemonade and Kitra always gets herself some water. Yeah, double waters. Like I said, we don't have the, the drink package this time. So our options are basically water and lemonade. Yeah. Or something <laughs> everything else, water. Everything else we gotta pay for, even soda. I also gotta say it looks really nice in here. Like from the carpet to the seats, like the whole decor for a buffet restaurant. 
I'm I'm impressed for like, an almost 20 year old ship. Okay, you know what they say. Things just age with great with beauty. <laughs> or what did they say? It's it's the wine and how Yes. See? Like a fine wine. That's what I would say the ship is like. We'll put the quote on the screen. <laughs> In my brain, I was re I was like ready, and then yeah, like a fine wine. It's good. Sure. So I got watermelon dipped in milk chocolate. <laughs> Monstrosity. I've never seen like watermelon used to be dipped into chocolate. How do you like? It's probably dangerous. <laughs> right? Okay. <laughs> oh, that's good. Who knew that watermelon and chocolate would be a good combination? Five out of five Peters. <laughs> this is good. So the mustard drill is now done on your phone. We just had to watch a video. And now we're headed to our assembly station so that we can, you know, get the stamp of approval. And then we're done. We can go to our room. What are the odds? The heart of the ocean is also on this ship. It was on the Symphony of the Seas too. Remember, it was like $75,000 or something. So it's here. Yeah, you didn't buy it for me last time, but my birthday is coming up. Spoiler alert, I'm not buying it for you this time. <laughs> this cruise has got everything. <laughs> you gotta wash your hands again. I know, dang it. <laughs> One of the reasons why I love Royal Caribbean so much is I love their open layout, like their open floor plan, compared to our most recent cruise on the Disney Wonder. It's all like very enclosed and it just feels so spacious and just, it feels like there's more room in here because it's so open. So in the case of emergency, we need to go to the Star Lounge A4. We found it, check. Now let's, let's go there. It says welcome aboard, K and P. So satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Okay, well. Oh my god, it's huge. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's so bright and spacious in here. I really was not expecting it to be this big. Can you even see how big it is? Well, hello there. How about you come on into our spacious ocean view room? Don't mind if you do. Let me give you a little tour. We're gonna explore this together for the first time. I think we need to start at the front and work our way back. So let's start with my favorite room and Peter's favorite room. That is the bathroom. Watch your step. I don't know if you can tell, but like, <laughs> I know that you said that the ship was recently like refurbished and kind of updated, but these rooms look very retro. Like, yeah. well, the, they probably didn't redo this. It's like this, like kind of soft pink color. I don't know. It just reminds me of like the '90s or whenever the ship was built. But come inside. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is like the aesthetic that I love. Look at how retro this feels. I'm like living for these seashell vibes. <laughs> a huge mirror, a huge, you know, um, counter to put all your stuff on. We have some gentle bath soap. Royal Caribbean cups. Let's check out the shower. I love the design. It almost looks like there's water on it, but that's just, you know, that's just the design of <laughs> <laughs> the glass there. That's funny. I don't know, it's a little bit strange. How does this... Oh, it's like a little pod. It's like a little shower pod. <laughs> oh wow, it is a... Uh... It looks like we're, it's like a water slide or something and it's about, like it has one of those drop floors and it's about to give out at any second. <laughs> but let me get in here. You have enough room. Yeah, and there's a, a hair and body wash, two in one, attached right to the wall. I'm gonna test that out because I did not bring any shampoo with me or body wash. So it's nice that it's a two in one. Okay, bye. Does that look cool? I can still see you. Hey! Get out of here. 
<laughs> Did it look cool? Sure. Okay. Let's do the flush test. This is an Ordinary Adventures trademark. This is what we do every time we're in a hotel room or on a cruise ship or anything. You gotta test the toilet. Do the flush check. Open this bad boy up and let's see. I have a feeling it's gonna be good because we're on a cruise ship. Oh. I think you gotta close the lid. be better. That probably gets like a three and a half out of five. <laughs> I'm very curious what is in here. Do you think it's the closet? I looked. You did? So originally we had an interior room on the ship. I did place some bids in for the Royal Up program and last week we were alerted that we got upgraded to a spacious ocean view room. I just had assumed that that was a normal ocean view but apparently this is a bigger than normal ocean view because what is behind this curtain? It's kind of strange. What is behind these curtains? Oh, oh my God, it's like we're on the Galactic Star Cruiser. <laughs> There's bunk beds. Why is there a bunk bed in here? I don't know. I mean, I guess if you have a big family, they book this room because there's a lot of room. There's the bed, there's the couch, and then there's two extra beds. So theoretically, you could probably have like six people sleeping in here if you wanted. So I'll sleep in here, and you could have the bed. It works out. Why did the light turn off? I don't know, it's kind of like creepy in there, I'm not gonna lie. There's this luxurious couch where you could sit and watch TV. I'm pretty sure this folds out into an extra bed. So that's nice, but let's check out the actual bed. It looks pretty spacious. What I love about the beds here is they have the rounded edges. So in the middle of the night when I have to go pee, I won't hit my knee on it because <laughs> it's like nice and soft. So we're on deck six and this is the forward of the ship, which means we're at the very front of the ship. I mean, good thing is that we're at the front of the ship. We can see what's coming. Bad thing is <laughs> we kind of have an obstructed view with the helipad. Yeah, but normally like on some of the, the ships that we've been on, the helipad area is normally just for the crew, but it looks like anyone could go out there. So I'm excited to go out there and check it out. And then we could like look back and be like, that's our room <laughs> and be like excited about it. Yeah. But yeah, you're right. If there's an iceberg or something straight ahead, we'll be the first to see it. Iceberg straight ahead. Yep. Yep. So Hopefully went? that doesn't happen. One of the bad things about this being an older ship is I don't see there being any USB ports or plugs over here. So Really? Yeah. Wow. That is so strange. I'm honestly kind of shocked. But it looks like there's some plugs over here. So I have two Northern America plugs, one, you know, European plug, and then a plug for a telephone? Should have brought my, tele my, <laughs> my telephone. No USB plugs. Yeah. So they have a little desk area. And by little, I mean really little. But Look at the lighting though. Okay. Oh, I was like, only one of the lights work. That's yeah. nice. And one of the good things about this particular room is it has like his and her. Oh, is that what that is? I think so. Okay. Let's check out my closet. This is a huge closet. This is like a pantry. Yeah. We could put all our, our snacks in here. <laughs> <laughs> the other closet. Oh, wow. We've got, yeah, so I think they expected like eight people to be sleeping in here. <laughs> so we've got plenty of life rafts <laughs> or life vests, whatever they are. Yeah, your closet, uh, sorry, full of life rafts. <laughs> well, look, they have a, a second desk right over here. Has a little bit more room. Yeah, it's like a little nook. No plugs though. <laughs> There's a little TV. Little TV. And it looks like you can move it, so. Tiny cute TV. Yeah, we could watch TV in bed. <laughs> and just some drawers. Ooh, there's a safe. Is there a mini fridge, fridge down here? I hope so. There we go. Little mini bar. I like it. This is like a really ple pleasant surprise. Not only do we have like this very unique room, which I was not expecting, but it's bigger than I was expecting too. I was like ready for that, that, that non-sweet, you know, compact <laughs> life, but it's spacious in here. I've never been in an ocean view room on Royal Caribbean before, but I wonder if they all have two portholes or if we got lucky, because we have two windows. So it's like, it feels like extra bright in here. Like, I like it. Yeah. 
could hear that there's an announcement going on and they, there's this little feature here where if you don't want to hear the announcements, you could turn it off, but let's turn it on and see what he's saying. <laughs> Doesn't seem to work. Good, I didn't want to hear what he was saying anyway. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Look, there's also a paper navigator. Yay. So we have the cruise, oh sorry, it's called a cruise compass. We're on Navigator of the Seas. This is the cruise compass, day one, Monday, November 29th. Okay, happy Hanukkah. 20, yeah, I love that they're celebrating Hanukkah. And it, I, this is, this is what we were missing before. Yeah, so this gives you all the information on your dining, all the things that are happening around the ship. Yeah, and then this is just like the welcome aboard paper. Got a few disposable masks and a nice little hand sanitizer. I'm not sure you could call this a pro tip, but I highly recommend hanging all your clothes in the closet. I know it takes some time at the beginning of the trip. I used to live out of my suitcase on a trip or on a cruise because I didn't like packing at the end, but it's so refreshing to have everything hung, everything out of the way, and then like as you wear it, you can throw it into your suitcase. Kitra lost her Hogwarts spirit jersey at the Windjammer, so now she's on the phone seeing if we can, like, get in contact with Lost and Found. Okay, thank you. Great. That was the one sweater I brought with me. Hopefully it's not cold. Deck 11. Doors opening. Going down. One of the new spaces on the ship is called the Lime and the Coconut. It's a bar by the pool, and it's where, I guess, you get tropical-style drinks. So, sounds like a place I want to be. They have this whole lounge area up on deck number 12. It's so colorful and nice up here. I wasn't expecting this. We have, like, our choice. We could sit anywhere we want. Let's go find a seat. the lime and the coconut because I had to and this has a Malibu coconut rum coconut milk coconut syrup guava syrup and lime juice it's this really pretty pink color I was not expecting that it smells so freaking like limey and good to get the drink package <laughs> the unlimited drink package this is so good i could drink this like water i mean it was so good they named the restaurant after it is so i recommend if you're going to the lime and coconut get yourself a lime and coconut it's very sweet but you can really taste that coconut milk just all the flavors mix really well together and this gets a five out of five ordinary adventure star just saying for my drink, I got the Goombe Smash, and this is something I've had before at theme park. This is Malibu Coconut Rum, Kraken Black Spice Rum, Orange Juice, and Pineapple Juice. When, when he was pouring it, Kitra was like, wow, that's a lot of rum. So I think this one's going to be strong. Four and a half out of five meters. This is very good, very tropical, very orangey, if that's a word. I like it a lot, but I, I, I like to like go more pineapple, so maybe my next drink will be pineapple. I will say this, I'm already having regrets, because these two drinks are $13 each, and then plus tax, plus 18% automatic gratuity, was 33 something for two drinks, and we didn't get the drink package this time. I kind of wish we got the drink package. Should we have gotten the drink package? Yeah. It's not too late. <laughs> this is our first time taking a cruise out of Los Angeles, the port of Los Angeles. 
and it is a little bit strange. We're just in the middle of like this shipping container yard. Normally when you think of a cruise, you're like going out of Florida with the beautiful blue waters. Like for example, when we left out of Miami, it was like that beautiful skyline as we were leaving in South Beach. And uh, you know, it's a unique sort of view from a Los Angeles. I mean, it has its own beauty, am it's I right? It's a real shipping port. It is a real shipping port. It, it, ha it does have a strange beauty to it, like being up here and looking at it this way. It's kind of insane. On this deck, they actually have these cool looking gyrospheric loungers, and they also have like some cabanas, which I didn't see on Symphony, so that's kind of cool. Evacuate the ship. Your muster station crew will assist you to the survival craft in an orderly fashion. We made our way up to the helicopter pad. We could see our room. I accidentally left the window open and the light on. I'm sorry. But I could finally, finally, finally live out my Titanic moment. This is the true front of the ship. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. There's <laughs> nobody else out here, so I'm gonna do it. There's only this thing up here. It's okay. I'm the king of the world! It's not even moving. I'm the king of the world! The boat's not even moving. You know how long I've wanted to do that? I'm the king of the world! I'm the king of the world! There's nobody, nobody can hear me. <laughs> Wow, this is pretty, this is cool being up front here. Kind of scary, but mostly cool. It's like a battleship right in front of us. Yeah, there's a battleship. Seems like there's another cruise ship like way down there. Maybe like the nicer cruise uh, terminals are over there. So we're back inside and right there is the Star Lounge where we had our muster station. Below that is the Royal Theater right behind us it's a schooner bar yeah, then even right behind that is that's where the casino is casino and right next to us is hooked which we didn't try last time did you know a schooner is a sailboat i'll say my first impressions of the ship is i'm amazed at how much they pack into such a small ship by small ship by the ships like the size of the disney fantasy or the new wish but it doesn't feel small because it has so much going on, Does that makes sense? And then what it has going on, so much of it feels so new, but then other parts like our stateroom feel like it's a 20 year old ship. But I'm, I'm really digging it. I'm really liking it too. It, even though it's not as big as Symphony of the Seas, like you could find little corners where there's not a lot of people. Like we're just kind of chilling in the schooner bar, schooner bar, schooner bar, you know, the bar. Where there is a sailboat. Okay, well, we're just drinking some water and hanging out here. It's nice. I like Royal Caribbean. I could get used to this. We just need to keep winning more and more free cruises, and then uh, <laughs> we could just do this all the time. <laughs> Forecast for tomorrow at sea. I'm expecting winds from the west-northwest, speed of four knots. That's five miles an hour. Seas, again, will be very similar, uh, four feet, just over a meter. Temperatures. Tomorrow are expected to uh, to be up around 64 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 degrees Celsius. <laughs> Enjoy your evening. I'll be back with another update tomorrow at 12 o'clock at lunchtime. I'll see you around the ship. So we never ended up getting to tell you how we got on the ship for free, Asterix. What happened was last time we were on a Royal Caribbean ship, it was on Symphony of the Seas, and we were playing at the casino. You saw that I won some money on one of the slot machines. We were in the casino for two to three hours playing. Didn't spend that much money. About a week or two after our cruise, we received a postcard in the mail from Casino Royale. This is the company that runs the casino on Royal Caribbean ships. And they basically offered us a free cruise. And by free cruise, uh, it was like a certain certain cruises, certain itineraries, probably ones that weren't selling as, as well, including this one. And we just had to pay our port and taxes. So for this cruise, it was $222. And I think the cruise normally on the, on the website was like $700 or so after the, tour, uh, the port fees and taxes. So we got like $500 off. 
and we got an interior room we could have upgraded to a balcony or a ocean view we chose just to stay with the interior and as you saw we did the royal up got upgraded to the spacious ocean view room so aside from our six dollars for our upgrade for royal up and the ports and taxes basically we got this for free aside from all the drinks we're gonna buy what's going on here it's a dog frozen it's art look it up on Royal Caribbean ships, they have the weirdest art. Like this one, they have like a hang glider that's coming through a porthole in the sky. You don't think that's one of the excursions we get to do when we're on this uh, cruise ship? I'd do it. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. What are you talking about? You do it. The art gallery is doing this contest where you guess the weight of one of the sculptures. In this case, it was this little elephant. And the clues were it's between 1 and 50 pounds. And, uh,. If you get it right, you don't win the elephant, which I was kind of disappointed about. You win some other kind of art package because they have a gallery here on the ship. But, uh, I mean, fingers crossed. What did you guess? I guess 31 pounds. Peter guessed 11. I think it's going to be, like, smaller than you think. Like, I think everybody thinks it's heavy. I think it's very light. We'll see. Yeah, well, I don't, you don't win the elephant, so what's the point? So Kitcher checked the lost and found at guest services. They still haven't gotten her sweatshirt. Yeah, so we're gonna go look at some of the merch. I at least wanna look, I saw that there was a spirit jersey, a Royal Caribbean spirit jersey that has piqued my interest now that my Hogwarts one is missing. So let's go see if they have anything fun in there. You wanna be the cruise queen? Is that what it says? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do, but uh, okay. So cruising queen. Yes, that's it. No. Do you like the stripes? I do actually like the stripes, but I want something that says like that's more specific. I mean, we already know that I'm the cruising queen, so we don't need to say it on the sweatshirt. I think we got a winner here. Yeah, navigator of the seas. I could always remember this trip, the trip that I lost my Hogwarts spirit jersey and I bought a Royal Caribbean one. There's nothing on the front. Yeah, there's nothing on the front of these ones. It's just all on the back. Is that ridiculous to get this? No. No? It's cool. Okay. Yeah, I think this... Are you sure I don't need the Cruising Queen one, too? <laughs> Just kidding. I like this one. But the real question is, do you need these slippers? These ship slippers? I do, actually. I regret not getting them last time. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a thinner material. I don't think Kitra would go for this. When we were on the Symphony of the Seas, they had all this merchandise shedding out the statistics of that ship. I thought that was because it was the biggest cruise ship in the world, but they have a mug here telling you how big this ship is, and this ship is the 30th <laughs> biggest ship in the world, so I guess it's just something that they do on all the Royal Caribbean ships. Move out of the way, Captain oh, Duffy. I have Captain Generic Bear wearing a generic captain suit. I'm the captain now. God, we're not going to start that again, are we? Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. So now that Kitra has gotten her sweatshirt, we're headed to the show tonight, which is Ice Skate, which, if you remember on Symphony of the Seas, they had Ice Skate 2.0, and this is like apparently the original, the OG. Yeah, and I just wanted to show you, I didn't end up getting the slippers, I just got a keychain that looked like the slippers. So, I'm an adult and I could spend my money how I want. <laughs> It is now finally time for dinner on our last Royal Caribbean cruise. We never once ate in the main dining room. So I'm actually excited to check it out and see if the food is good or not here. I gotta be honest with you. I was kind of dreading coming into the main dining room because we've seen videos of the main dining room and it usually looks kind of boring. But walking in here, it looks so grand. There's like gold accents. It's decorated for Christmas. It definitely like has like a grand chandelier and as Kitra said, we've never eaten in here because last Royal Cruise, every night we ate at a, we had the dining package and we ate at the premium dining restaurants. So we haven't tried 
the food that is actually included for free or included in your cruise. So, is that going to be good? We're going to find out. So, hi there. Good evening. I'm Mohendra Ikola. I will be waiter at the Royal Caribbean. <laughs> I have the lovely guest, Curtry and the Peter. Please, please make sure you subscribe and follow Ordinary Adventure. Cheese. <laughs> Every night in the main dining room, the menu is split in half. Half of the menu is new items. Every night you can try new stuff. And the other half is what they call the classics. These are items that are favorites here at Royal. And you could get those every night if you wanted to. Or you could try the new stuff. For my starter, I ordered something off of the classic menu. And I got the escargot. This is baked snails and garlic, parsley, and butter. A true French delicacy. That's what the menu said. Have you ever had escargot? I've had escargot once before, and it was actually on another cruise. It was on our first ever Disney cruise that we went on this cruise way before we had a YouTube channel. And I remember really liking it. Look at all that butter. <laughs> <laughs> it's just drenched in butter. Can't be scared when you're on a cruise. They taste like meatballs. They taste like Italian meatballs. Really? I mean, just the flavor. Doesn't have like a seafood taste at all? No. I mean, a snail isn't from the sea. But yeah. uh, you would think that the consist like it, it kind of just like melts in your mouth. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but these are good. Just like before, this really just tastes like garlic butter. With like a little bit of something to chew on. There's a reason why this is a classic. This probably gets like a four out of five Kitras. <laughs> can't do five out of five for snails. I just can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> and for my appetizer, I also decided to get a classic. I got the French onion baked soup. And this is savory beef broth with onions and herb croutons baked with Gruyere cheese. Did I say that correctly? Maybe? I don't know. Okay. Let's go in. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Ooh. First of all, it's really hot. It's scalding hot. We ordered this and it came out in like five seconds. So they must have just had them ready for us. But this is really good. If you've ever had like a French onion soup, then you know what it tastes like. It's just really, really good. Look at this. You saw that cheese pull. You can see some of like that, that those croutons in there. Oh yeah, I love the cheese. That's the best part. Perfection. <laughs> Five out of five Peters. <laughs> no, I, I almost feel bad giving like, yes. you know, this is the thing that's on the menu every night at the complimentary dining restaurant. Well, this is great. If you come here, or you come to any royal ship, I'm sure the classics are on every ship. Get the French onion soup. Good soup. For my entree, I decided to be adventurous and order off of the rotating menu, and I got the slow roasted prime rib. This is tender beef with potato croquettes, broccoli, and a horse radish a douche. <laughs> Look at this big plate of meat. <laughs> this is so much meat. That looks so uh, good. You know what this is, Peter? What? Tender <laughs> and juicy. This is some good prime rib. I never thought I'd be saying that about the main dining room on Ro <laughs> the Royal Caribbean ship. I guess how the same way you felt about your soup. But this is really, really good. That just gets a five out of five. No question about it. For my dinner, I went with a classic. This is the New York Strip Steak. This is pe prepared to order with your choice of herb butter or green peppercorn sauce. I got both. <laughs> I'm excited to try this because, as you know, I am a connoisseur of steak. Look at this gigantic block of butter they gave me. Am I supposed to like melt this whole thing on top of it? It seems like a lot. It seems like it's excessive. I ordered it medium. That's perfectly cooked. It's solid. Is it a classic? Maybe not. But it is on the classic menu. It is on the classic <laughs> menu. Without going into the sides, I'm sure I know what I'm dealing with with the, with the baked potato and stuff like that. I think it would give us like a three and a half out of five. So far, so good on this cruise. I was a little bit worried 
because the last cruise that we went on, which was basically the same route, we went down to Ensenada on the Disney cruise, I really felt the ship rocking. And so far tonight, I have not felt a thing. Granted, I, you know, I prepared myself this time. I took my Dramamine, got my C-bands, but like, I really can't, like, if you would tell me that we're on a ship, I wouldn't believe you. It is like that calm in here. And I'm wondering if that's because this is a little bit bigger of a ship as opposed to the Disney Wonder, which is like way smaller. I don't know. Or we were on a hurricane last time. <laughs> I don't know. Either way, like, I'm like... I think it was the hurricane. Yeah. I'm pleasantly surprised. I was a little bit nervous coming on this cruise. But uh, so far, so good. Knock on wood. <laughs> For my dessert, I got the pear and blueberry cobbler. This has sweet oatmeal crumble. It's served warm with vanilla ice cream. And I didn't know this when I ordered <laughs> this off the menu. But this is like uh, uh, no, the no sugar added option on the menu tonight. Doesn't mean it has to be bad, right? It could be good. The combination of the cold ice cream and the really warm cobbler. Fantastic. The sugar in the, the the blueberries it definitely brings sweetness there, but there is it, it does feel like it's missing, you know, the added sugar that's necessary. I'd give it like a three and a half out of five peers. Because our server recommended it, I got myself the key lime pie. This is something that isn't a classic, it's on the rotating menu. And this is a tangy key lime custard in a brown butter graham cracker crust. Say that five times fast. It's so cute and little. And our waiter said he went all the way to Key. Uh, yeah, Key he, all, he went all the way to Key West and made it for me and brought it back. So thank you so much. I appreciate that. Hope it's good. But it kind of tastes like a lemon meringue pie, which I love. It's not too tangy. It's not too sour. It's nice and sweet. And it, it's another one of those things that kind of just like melts in your mouth. Oh, it's so good. It's probably just like a four out of five. I like it. It is very small. If I wasn't so full, I would have ordered like three of them. Now that we're all done with dinner, we're gonna head over to the Royal Theater and check out a comedy act. Flash photography is not permitted. However, if you do take pictures with your mobile devices, Please be mindful of your screen brightness level as to not disturb other members of the audience. I actually had a really good time seeing the comedian and it was just a nice relaxing time. It felt good to laugh again, you know, after everything that we've been through. Yeah, this is it, man. Four days of nothing. <laughs> and I tell you, as I generally start my show out, you know, in a, a particular order, so my friend told me to challenge myself and do it completely backwards tonight. So you don't mind if I do that, right? All right, so uh, thank you very much and good night. <laughs> and that does it for day one of our Navigator of the Seas adventure. We're gonna have two more videos from this cruise and we'll put a playlist of those right over there. We wanna say thank you to some of our Patreon members. That includes Barry Adams, John and Rainey, Marilee, and Austin Lawton Slagger. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next adventure. <laughs>